This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson. We're selling this truck. It is a 2004 Dodge Ram 3500 um, crew cab. It's a turbo diesel, one ton, four wheel drive SLT, 255,000 miles. It's on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Um, very common for theft recoveries. Insurance companies uh, will sell them on uh, salvage title probably nine out of ten times. Please watch the uh, little three minute animated video we have in all of our ads that tells you why and the hows and the whole bit. Anyway, uh, it's uh, salvage due to theft, not due to collision. Anyway, my job is to point out the uh, problems with the truck so that if you purchase this thing and gets across the country, uh, you know exactly what you're buying and uh, there are no surprises. So I will do the opposite of what people do. I will tell you what's wrong and not what's right. What's right will speak for itself. Uh, tires are anywhere between, they're all BFG all trains and they're all LT uh, load rated um, and they look to be somewhere between 40 and 60 percent tread. Um, it's missing the Cummins uh, emblem there. Someone peeled that off. It's got a bunch of high-speed road chips. Got a little peel paint spot here. Obviously a tube of touch-up would be a good idea, but uh, if you're buying this thing for cosmetics, you're gonna not be happy. So please don't buy it if you're looking for some show truck, because this isn't it. Here's your passenger front tire. This one looks more like about 40% tread. The driver tire looks more like about 50% tread. Passenger door, passenger rear door looks good. Bedside looks pretty good. It's got some, uh, see a little clear coat scrape there. And you got a little bit of dings here. I'm still going to try to point out the cosmetics, even though I'm telling you it's not a cosmetically pretty truck. I'll just still try to make sure that you see the important stuff. I think that uh, the person who owned this took really good care of it. The interior is like, I mean, brand new. Um, so I think that everything that you see that's wrong on the exterior probably happened when it was stolen. This tailgate's hammered. Big ding here, ding there. Stuff up here. It's got a beautiful bed liner, uh, spray and bed liner. There's a spare, tow package, lights. When you see the interior, uh, it's pretty obvious whoever owned it really liked this truck. The biggest problem with the cosmetics are obviously right there. Let me show you this tire real quick and we'll get to that. Rear tires look like they're about 40%. It's 40% for three tires and then about 50% for the uh, driver front. Obviously, it looks like somebody got too close to a pole at the drive through or something. Um, but that's what it looks like. Obviously, it's not a show truck, so I would never even consider fixing it. It's got little chips on the side of the bed and everything. It's a long bed. Um, and the way it runs, I'm sure that the guy who lost his truck is pretty upset about it. Uh, based on the interior, and the way it runs, I'm sure that uh, it was very well maintained. You can see that the uh, bolts have never been off the fenders. These are the original fenders. Otherwise, all the paint would be scuffed off the uh, bolts here. There's your core support. There's your motor. support bolts that are nice to see without any paint rubbed off them. I mean this thing came in running. I mean these are the original batteries and we didn't have to buy batteries or anything for it. Let me show you the roof here real quick. All right. Obviously you got the one ton light deal going on here. There's really nothing to show up here. Boy, this interior is a huge tell-all on who uh, owned this truck previously. 
There's a little bit of wear here, just a little bit, but golly, these seats, just pristine. When you see an interior like this, it generally matches the exterior, and when it doesn't, it's pretty safe to say that whatever happened down there happened in the last couple miles of its life. Um, in other words, when it was stolen. I mean, the, do the door is open and closed fine. There's no air rushing through or anything like that. Let me take that out. There's your carpet. Let's back in there. All right. Let's see. Power seat. Up, down, up, down. All right, let me get in here and get the air conditioning going. It's about 105 today and it's humid. Whew. It is warm, really warm. Okay, let's see what do we got going on. Let's see if we have a radio that works. Okay, we have a radio that works. We have a CD player. We have air that's blowing ice cold right now. It feels unbelievably good. Let me turn that fan down so. I see a little scuff right here and a little scuff there. But wow, I mean, the seats are absolutely fantastic condition. Dash is in good condition. Usually on these older Dodges, there's a dash, they crack, notorious for cracking, which means that this guy probably had this inside a lot. Oh, there's your temperature. Uh, that'd be 111. <laughs> so, all right, uh, let's see, let's run you through this stuff. Uh, let's see, shade on this, uh, 255,454 miles. There's the whole thing. There's cruise, let's see, cruise control, there it is, on and off. You have a tilt wheel over here that tilts up and down, that works fine. What else we got to show you? Tow haul. Let's see. Off and on. There you go. Let me put it in neutral. Let me put it into four low. That was easy. Usually you have to force them to drive. And that's a lot of torque. That is definitely four low. Let me put it into reverse. And that's even more torque. Wow. So that would pull your house somewhere. Let me put it into four high, and that was very easy too. It's nice when they do that. Drive. Reverse. Boom. Perfect. Okay. And two high. There we go. I gotta turn this air up, it is warm. Ooh, that feels good. Anyway, I do see a couple a little rock chip here, here. I mean, they're just really minor. They're not worthy of uh, of, uh, of the windshield. But uh, I gotta tell you that. Oh, let's see. It's being sold on a salvage title. So if you come to Tucson to drive it home, you're gonna pay us two hundred dollars to have the title restored. We take it to Motor Vehicles. The police of motor vehicles inspect the vehicle. They give it what's called a level three inspection. Uh, then we take the salvage title and the level three to motor vehicles and get what's called a restored salvage title, which at that point you can uh, register it, get plates, and get insurance. Um, obviously, if you're going to drive it away, that's mandatory, so that's why we do it. We get there, we take the vehicle there the next morning after we're paid in full. Um, sometimes we'll do it with just a deposit. Um, and uh, Take it at 6 in the morning and we stay with it until it's done. They require you to stay there and depending on whether they want to eat a lot of donuts and be lazy or not, we could be there for 10 minutes or we could be there for 8 hours. That's why we charge $200. Um, 50 of it goes to the state, 150 is to cover our cost uh, of a guy potentially being there all day. Um, sometimes not, sometimes they are. So. That's mandatory if you're going to drive away. We also have a $250 dock fee, which is mandatory. 
and we have taxes to pay. Taxes are 2% Tucson City sales tax plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is the same as Oregon, which is zero, then you're going to pay 2% uh, total. If your state tax rate is Arizona, then you're going to end up paying 9% because our state tax is 7%. So you're going to pay, nine, I think it's 9.1%. Um, so just add your state tax rate uh, plus 2% and you will know what the taxes are. So recap, you, drive, you, you come here to drive away, you're going to pay $200 restore fee, $250 dock fee, plus tax of 2% plus your state tax. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price plus $200 to restore the title if you want us to do it. Please make sure your state can do it uh, with just a bill of sale, um, a salvage Arizona title, and uh, the truck. That's all we can give you. Okay, um, Just make sure so that if it goes to Michigan, you're not regretting not having it done here. You know, and for whatever reason. It's a long way to get it back here, and you can't drive it back here. You'd have to ship it back. All right? Um, let me stop real quick. I'll go from the start. Standing start. There we go. Okay, let's see how this turbo's now. There's the turbo. Runs great. Absolutely perfect. No vibrations, not loud at all. Um, I would drive this to Maine right now. Um, also, if you're the high bidder and we have an agreed upon price, please get a deposit in. No deposit, it's not a deal. Okay, we can agree on prices all day long, but we will not stop other people from buying the vehicle if we don't have a deposit. Someone comes in with a deposit or with cash to buy the vehicle and you don't have your deposit in, we're selling it to them. Um, I think that's fair. I think you know why it's fair. Um, but uh, people still give us a lot of grief over that, and I do not understand why. So, uh, that is all. It's a nice running truck. Got some cosmetic issues. Um, it's going to be a very fair price. No one will be able to compete with the price in this truck, period. Um, that's it. Thanks, and have a great weekend.